Hello, I'm Sanjay Sharma. I'm Professor of Cardiology at St. George's Hospital. I'm also Head of Research for the Clinical and Academic Group in Cardiology. My interests in cardiology include inherited cardiac diseases such as cardiomyopathy, sports cardiology and sudden cardiac death. Sudden cardiac death is a feared complication of cardiovascular disease in the United Kingdom. It affects about 120,000 people in this country and the vast majority are aged between 50 and 80 years old. Very occasionally a young individual may die suddenly from a heart problem and these deaths clearly cause a lot of concern in the community because they are counterintuitive and lead to a large number of life years lost. The magnitude of the problem is actually greater than we once believed and affects between 12 and 16 young individuals per week and that amounts to between 600 and 1,000 deaths. If one imagines that uh, these individuals lose around 50 years of life each and that these diseases can be detected through simple measures such as ECG and echocardiography and that there are treatments that may actually prevent these deaths I think it's very important that we do try to identify young individuals that who may be at risk. The sad thing about this whole thing is that sudden death in young people affects people who are apparently well and look healthy and have no symptoms at all. In fact, 80% of young individuals who die suddenly from heart diseases such as the cardiomyopathies and the ion channel diseases and congenital accessory pathways of the heart have no symptoms whatsoever and sudden death is often the first presentation. It's important to emphasize that many of these conditions are genetic, therefore it's very important to be aware whether a first degree relative such as a father, a brother or a sister may also be affected or may have died prematurely. In individuals who've got that sort of family history, it's not very difficult. Those sort of individuals do need comprehensive evaluation for heart muscle diseases and electrical faults. It's very difficult to identify others because they've got no symptoms at all, and therefore some form of screening procedure is required. And probably the most effective screening procedure is the ECG, and this type of practice is conducted by sporting organizations throughout the United Kingdom, uh, including the Football Association, the English Institute of Sport, Rugby Union, Rugby League and the Lawn Tennis Association but you can see that it's confined to the highest echelons of sport whereas we know that the vast majority of people that die are usually relatively sedentary and recreational and often of school age so something a little bit more elaborate is probably required in this country. In Italy, where there is a nationally sponsored uh, screening program, the ECG has been very useful at detecting young individuals with heart diseases. And since its implication about 30 years ago, sudden death in sport particularly has gone down from 3.6 per 100,000 to 0.4 per 100,000. And that represents a 90% reduction in sudden cardiac death in sportsmen. There is no nationally sponsored screening program in the United Kingdom but there are certain charitable organizations such as Cardiac Risk in the Young who do promote and perform screening at a cost-effective rate, uh, a value of 35 pounds each. And this involves a health questionnaire pertaining to cardiovascular symptoms or a family history and an ECG. Now the ECG will clearly detect electrical faults such as Wolf Parkinson White, Long QT syndrome and Brugada syndrome but it will also raise the suspicion of a heart muscle disorder such as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in which the ECG is, ab is abnormal in around 95% of cases. In this country if we do perform the cry type of sort of screening program which we have done in about 20,000 people here at St George's then we find that the pickup rate of, for a very serious condition is one in 300. The chance or the ability to identify a relatively minor congenital abnormality is one in a hundred at the expense of a false positive rate of less than four percent.
The good news is that sudden death in sport is rare and affects only one in 50,000 individuals. And therefore, if a sporting organisation does not perform screening, the NHS don't believe that it is really part of the remit of the NHS to screen such young asymptomatic individuals. In that group of individuals, there are charitable organisations such as Cardiac Risk and the Young who run a screening programme here at St George's twice a month. And this screening programme is advertised daily in the Evening Standard and can be uh, resourced from the internet and people who are interested can sign on if they're aged between 14 and 35 and have a cardiac evaluation here at St George's Hospital one weekend. Clearly, people who've got symptoms such as chest tightness, breathlessness, that's disproportionate to the amount of exercise being performed, palpitation, dizziness, syncope, or a family history of cardiac disease in a first degree relative aged under 40, those individuals are basically eligible to be screened on the National Health Service anyway, but these are important reasons for screening, and I think screening should not um, be, de these people should not be deprived of screening if they've got any of those parameters.